There are far too many people in this world that define their life by living from crisis to crisis, problem to problem. And if you have done this in the past, you know what I'm talking about. But at the least, you know people that do. It is better to live your life in heaven instead of in a hellish state. And you can. Your life is from center to circumference. It's not the circumstances that are happening to you currently. It is the way you feel inside. And the way you feel inside depends on how you live from center to circumference. How you pace your day, your week, your month, your year, and your life. One of the things that I am teaching this weekend, and I'm doing this ahead of this weekend, is I'm teaching the bliss list in my seminar. And if you've attended this seminar, you know what this is. But let me share it with you. The bliss list is powerful. It is living in your bliss instead of in your problems. And it is a real turnaround. It is a repenting to do this. Repent in the Bible spiritually means to turn around from the way you're going, the way you're thinking, turn around and raise your thinking. And the way that you do this is often by a complete reverse in the way that you're living life. If your life is defined by your problems, if you're putting off good times until everything falls into place and you're waiting for that little bit of heaven in the two weeks, for instance, that you get off for vacation a year, well, you're not living right. You have to create your bliss on a daily and a weekly basis. So often, adults immersed in their problems and their difficulties, they even forget what is fun to them, what they really enjoy. And I'm talking about enjoyment at a soul level. So I ask you to create your own bliss list. On the list that I hand out, I have many, many lines on that for people to write down their loves in life. I ask them to list their loves, their passions in life, and to follow that as a road map to personal fulfillment and happiness. Now, what would be the examples of a bliss? Well, it could be the country, or for others, it would be the city. For some, it would be the ocean. For some, it would be mountains, or four seasons, the movies, reading, travel, dogs, cats, horses, hiking, skiing. For me, I have many things on my bliss list. I love travel, as you probably already know. I have my motorcycle on my bliss list. I have sitting at Starbucks in the morning just sitting there and drinking a cup of coffee, taking my time, reading the newspaper. I have walking through a Walmart. I like to just piddle around when I have the time and just explore and shop. Well, what is it for you? I'm asking you to work as hard in play as you do in work. I'm asking you to list as many passions that you have in life as possible and use this list as a standard by which to judge your goal attainment. Now, here's what I mean by that. True story. A woman was offered of what she thought was a dream job in Key West, Florida. And the one thing that was opposite from her bliss was heat and humidity. Now, she had two small children, and I told her, if you go down there, you'll probably be there for the rest of your life. Now, to some, 
To many, Key West, Florida would be heaven on earth. But you should have seen her bliss list. It was the four seasons with the top bliss winter because she loved to ski. She loved the mountains. She loved everything about the four seasons, the change in the fall that came, the leaves, all the things that she would miss if she went after this particular opportunity. So I ask you to make your bliss list, to find out who you are. You know, you have an individual fingerprint. Well, you also have an individual soul. And whatever causes your soul to turn on its inner smile is what you need to discover. There will be many times in this discovery process that you'll discover new bliss avenues that you didn't even know you had. And it is one of the greatest self-discovery missions you could ever go on. And you will truly become a happy person. So do this with me. For the next 30 days, every day spend a little time with your bliss list. I also ask you to carry your sheet with you so when you have an idea come to you that you might have forgotten, large or small, write it down and then live a little bit of your bliss every day.